Hey friends, I am here today to share a chaffle recipe. And if you're not familiar with what a chaffle is, it is basically a cheese waffle. I got myself this little um, waffle maker. It's just a little small waffle maker. It's not the mini one, but you can buy the mini ones. Um, <clears throat> I bought it on Amazon. I love fried cheese. Um, I used to fry the cheese in the frying pan all the time and get it real crispy and I would cut it um, in little like a pizza and have little triangles and I would eat like hummus with the cheese all the time and then all of a sudden I started seeing on the internet you know chaffles and I was curious like what is a chaffle and I looked it up and I was like dang I've been doing that in the frying pan all this time <clears throat> and I used to add like um, jalapenos sliced jalapenos on it and things like that and this is really cool because you can make it a little bit thicker like a waffle than in the frying pan where it's real flat and just like fried cheese. And I thought that I would start experimenting a little bit. So today, one of the things that I love and what sparked this one first was that um, we just bought a bunch of bagels at Costco. And I like toasted bagels with everything seasoning. Or I actually love everything everything bagels. My husband likes plain bagels. So what we normally do is buy the plain bagels and I will put whipped cream cheese on it and then I'll go ahead and put everything seasoning on it. And then we both, you know, get it and we don't have 50 million different um, bagels. So anyway, <clears throat> um, I thought I would play around and experiment a little bit with a everything chaffle. This is just a combination of different recipes where I was doing a trial and error kind of thing. Um, it's very simple, very few ingredients. Um, it's a very easy recipe to make. So first I'll go over all the ingredients. The first thing we're going to need is some almond flour. And this is a very um, keto recipe. Um, I'm going to use mozzarella cheese, one egg, and everything bagel seasoning. And friends, that is it. That is all that's going into this chaffle. So, oh, and I probably will top it with some um, whipped cream cheese. So I'll share that with you at the end when um, I'm finished with it. So let's turn the camera down and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in <clears throat> my waffle maker and get it preheated. And then while that is heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the ingredients let me just push that to the side so i don't end up burning myself because y'all know i'm famous for having those kitchen mishaps all right i needed my little knife and cutting board because i am going to finally chop my mozzarella off okay now i'm ready <laughs> oh goodness all right let's take our one egg let me go ahead and put that in there like that napkin on the side, a paper towel. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to do a half a cup of mozzarella cheese. And I'll use a little bit more than this um, <clears throat> I'm gonna be putting on the waffle maker. So you're probably gonna need about three fourths cup of um, mozzarella cheese total, but we're only putting half a, half a cup into the recipe. Now I'm just chopping this up as best I can, just to make it a little bit more finer. Okay, that there was perfect. So, so now I'm just gonna go ahead, whisk my egg real quick, like that. take my almond flour and I'm going to put in one 
tablespoon of almond flour, just like that. Whisk that together real quick. And I'm gonna take my everything bagel seasoning. I'm gonna do about a nice heaping teaspoon of everything bagel seasoning. Eh, I'm gonna add a little bit more, another, <laughs> just a little more. Uh, I love everything bagel seasoning. That, so whisk it all together. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my cheese. Like that. There you go. And we're just gonna go ahead and mix it really well. As you can see, friends, this does not take long at all. All right, put that aside. My waffle maker, or waffle maker over here without getting burned. All right, my little light is green, so I'm gonna open it up. And then what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of mozzarella cheese, and I am just sprinkling it in here like this. This helps it just crisp up a little bit better. You see that? Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and take our mixture. And I just kind of, my waffle maker has four sections, so I just kind of divide it up into each section. If you just have one small waffle maker, you probably would get two out of this mixture. If you had the little mini waffle maker. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and spread that around. Just like that. Make sure I get a nice a circle here. Get it in all the crevices. There we go. Just like that. You get it down in the sides. Make sure all that's covered. It'll <clears throat> make it a lot easier getting it out if it's all smooth and down in there. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit more of my mozzarella cheese. I'm going to sprinkle that right on top like that. Just like that. And then I'm going to shut my waffle maker. And I'm going to let this cook for about five minutes. And then I'll show you what it looks like when we take it out. All right, my friends, I checked this at five minutes and it wasn't quite done, so I let it go for about two more minutes. So when you are cooking this, check it at five minutes and then see where we're at. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this. I just have myself a little knife just to kind of push away at the sides. You can see where it came out, just a tiny bit here. I just wanna make sure it's loose. It looks like it's pretty good here. Getting it up. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take my spatula, just lift it up there a little bit like that. You can see how easy that comes out, friends. Can you see that? Oh my goodness. I wish you could smell it. It really, truly smells delicious. Really, really does. Look at that. I'm gonna let it cool just for a second before I put my cream cheese on it because I don't want the cream cheese just to melt. But look at that. I wish you guys could smell this. It just smells so good. All right, give me a few seconds and then we'll go ahead and get this ready to try. All right, my friends, I did flip it over because I wanted to show you the back side of it too, just so you can see um, what it looks like on the back side. It's a little bit darker than the front. But doesn't that look delicious? So we're going to go ahead. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'll just put it in all of it. <laughs> Use my whip. I just buy this at Aldi. It's one of my staples. I go ahead and put some whipped cream cheese on it. I think I'm gonna just do one side at a time. 
Uh, I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so, so good. I'm just doing the whole thing. Why not, right? I'll share it with my husband. This is huge. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to head take my Everything Bagel Seasoning. I'm not sure where I got this from. I'm not really sure. I'm going to say, I honestly don't know where I got it from. Oh, a lid. <laughs> that was close. I'm going to sprinkle it on there like that. Oh, I love this stuff. Love, love, love. As you can see, I'm very generous with it. <laughs> And there you have it, my friends. Doesn't that look delicious? Now let's take a big bite. I already know what it tastes like because I've been experimenting, but my mouth is watering, so let's go ahead and get a bite real quick. My friends, here we go. Mmm. That's so good. I'm sorry, that was rude. I have um, Mr. Tracy down here. Oh my goodness. I just realized it's 10 to 45 and I'm not supposed to eat until 12. I just broke my fast. Oops. I guess I'll stop eating. <laughs> Oops. Seriously. Oh, well, it is what it is. I'll just eat this piece and be done. All right, my friends. So that'll do it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. So as I mentioned in my 2022 um, goal video. I am hoping to put out every Saturday a video that will have healthy recipes, talk about um, living a healthier lifestyle. It's not going to be just about losing weight, um, which I am trying to do and I have done done well so far, but it's going to be a video about healthy living um, and not about getting skinny and losing a ton of weight. So I'll be bringing you recipes like this. Um, if you guys have a favorite food that you really like, say chicken or salmon or anything like that, let me know below and I will try to come up with some recipes for you. Um, if you have a diabetic in your family or um, someone that's gluten free, I will be also sharing recipes as well for that. Um, so just about living a healthier lifestyle and being more intentional. So friends, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. It really helps me out just hitting that like button. It really helps me out when you just leave a comment. Um, and don't forget to go follow me over on Facebook and Instagram. And please consider following me on those as well and on YouTube as well and subscribe to my channel. As I said, all of the, all the comments, the likes, the shares, everything, subscribing, all of that really, really helps me out. And I really would appreciate it if you could do that for me. So friends, thanks so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.